So that is the influence. So. The roof of their school building blew off during a storm last year. For now, lessons are taking place here, where church services are usually held. The students don't know when or if they'll have a proper classroom again. Uh, we are pleading that when they see these our uh, problems, they should come to our aid to help us solve it. Because we are all Ghanaians and we all need to be treated equally. State-run schools in Ghana have been struggling for years. Now the government is having to cut public spending to meet conditions imposed by the International Monetary Fund as part of a $3 billion loan. Some here worry that could mean even less money for the already underfunded education sector. Despite government efforts to improve the quality of education in public schools, challenges remain. Many schools like this one don't have enough resources, such as textbooks, properly trained teachers, and desks. What is one square? One. Government leaders say there will be no major budget cuts to health or education, but some people don't believe this. In June, thousands failed exams to qualify as teachers. Because of the IMF conditionality, which is putting a cap on the number of persons that can be employed by government to become part of government expenditure, government has found a way of denying the almost 7,000 teachers the qualification to become teachers so that government doesn't feel compelled to employ them. It's too soon for people to know what effect the IMF loan will have on their country. Those desperate for conditions to improve can only wait and hope for the best. Harumatasa Al Jazeera, Accra.